After 75 days and 990 bills, the legislative session has come to an end. Joel Crane is here to tell us what they accomplished. Joel? Alan, the 2023 legislature was memorable. How it'll be remembered probably depends on your political leanings. Maybe you'll remember it as the session where lawmakers finally did away with abortion or the session where the majority of North Dakotans got a tax cut. Or maybe you'll remember the bills aimed at banning books and barring trans girls from playing girls sports. Either way, I bet you'll remember it. Half a billion dollars in tax cuts. Retirees on Social Security, workers with second jobs to make ends meet, and countless others benefit from this plan. And five and a half billion dollars to shut down the pension plan for future state employees. And the defined contribution plan that we have put together is outstanding. Non-relatives can co-own animal agriculture operations for the first time in 90 years. With these animal egg operations coming into this state, we're going to add that value back into our local communities. The state passed $66 million to address the child care shortage and $6 million to expand free student lunches, despite some controversy getting there. Yes, I can understand kids going hungry, but is that really the problem of the school district? Is that the problem of the state of North Dakota? It's really the problem of parents being negligent with their kids. Speaking of controversy, creator of the universe, and two lawmakers the turned their back on the chaplain during the daily prayer, which they felt had been politicized. My first reaction was, oh, that, that looks really ugly. Then there were the social issues, like an outright ban on abortion. This is a life state. It has promoted life of the unborn and mothers from before statehood. No matter what states do to try to restrict uh, women's access to reproductive health care, those laws are going to end up before state and federal courts. And two bills relating to banning books. Both passed, one was vetoed. It used to be that libraries and schools were safe zones for minors in our towns and communities. This is no longer the case. It's an insult to librarians and it's an insult to our citizens. About a dozen bills relating to transgender people passed, including banning trans girls from using girls' bathrooms. I have nine granddaughters, and I sure hope that as the oldest one goes to middle school, that she is not confronted in a locker room by biological males. But it is not their intention to take advantage of people or to violate other people's space. It's literally to be able to use the bathroom. Cigar bars will soon be open for business. Vouchers for private schools passed, but was vetoed. 80 mile an hour speed limits passed, but was vetoed. A bill banning approval and ranked choice voting passed, but was vetoed. I'm getting sick and tired of vetoes. I feel our branch is being disrespected. About a dozen bills were introduced to slow construction on the five state summit carbon solutions pipeline, but just about all of them failed. How small of a, of a minority should be able to outweigh the rights of the majority? While some feel quite good about the outcome of the session, our state is well positioned to grow our economy, strengthen our communities, and create a brighter future for all. Others are concerned the majority party doesn't have their priorities straight. Time and energy that should have been spent on these issues that impact the broader population was spent on niche issues that targeted a tiny number of North Dakotans. Governor Burgum has 15 days to act on the remaining bills. The legislature also approved $130 million for a new women's correctional facility in Mandan. They banned foreign adversaries from buying North Dakota land, they passed stricter regulations on the charitable gaming industry, and they passed the biggest raises for state employees that anyone can remember. It was all part of the most expensive budget in state history at $19.6 billion. I'll take a closer look at some of the biggest impact laws later this week.